Micro mobility is one of those buzzwords we've been hearing around the city. It means getting around those last few steps before or after your real commute, maybe a skateboard, a bike. Uh, we've seen mopeds, uh, e-bikes and e-scooters uh, take off. I used uh, the apps to check where these e-scooter share uh, vehicles are. Travel around here usually takes a walk to and from the subway or the bus, and some are longer than others. How about hopping on a scooter? We're saving time. We're saving people on uh, time to spend with their family, to get places, to sleep a little later. Since mid-August, three e-scooter companies have been operating the first e-scooter share in a section of the Bronx. That's east of the Botanical Gardens, up to Westchester, that's phase one. Next summer, Soundview and Throg's Neck come online. They have become part of getting around. This is what the apps look like from the three companies. 3,000 e-scooters are permitted within the test boundary. The three companies say they have logged more than 350,000 rides in those three months. They've also become part of the landscape, sometimes more left than parked on the sidewalk. They said that would be a major challenge. It is the big concern. NYC Council Member Kevin Riley hears around Baychester. I have a lot of homeowners here, so they don't like seeing the schools in front of their houses. Council Member Riley supports scooter share and better transit. He's working with the city and companies to provide more parking corrals and designated areas. Monday night, the Public Advocate's Office held an info session at the five train Baychester station to help spread the word about the program and how it works. That's Public Advocate Jamani Williams on the e-scooter. We have to provide some infrastructure. Subways and buses is a great one, bicycles is, is a great one, but we gotta provide all the alternatives we can. Safety and cleanliness have to be top priorities, especially as systems look to expand to the rest of the city. The micro mobility companies learn from the process. The shared electric mopeds have already spread. The moped rider is going a longer distance in most cases, but what we found is that people want alternatives. They want to be able to get on different types of vehicles to get them where they want to go. The city has already looked at uh, some safety uh, regulations. Uh, you can't ride after 8.30 if you're not an experienced rider who's always taken three rides. One of the companies uh, actually offers a discount if you happen to park in one of those designated corrals. They're looking at putting more out. There's discounts uh, for NYCHA representatives uh, and NYCHA residents. Uh, right now, the city's doing the review process, and any decision about expanding it citywide wouldn't be made until 2023. Live in the Bronx tonight, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.